one aspect of certificate services that you will hear about on the exam has to do with certificate policies and practice statements and I want you to know what those are. First of all, these are really the guidelines that you're going to use for how you issue certificates. Now keep in mind, if it's internal to your Active Directory users, we trust these people, we know who they are, and they can just simply do a web enrollment, ask for a certificate, and they can get it, and they can use that to encrypt communications, identify themselves, or whatever they're trying to do. If we're issuing certificates that's going to be used in the outside world, well now, we've got to provide some proof to those people about who we are and what we do and so forth, and we are also exposing ourselves to some legal responsibilities and you will need to involve human resources and the legal department and so forth in this certificate issuance uh, policies and practices because one of the things we need to define in our policies and practices is number one determine what's our responsibilities here what liabilities are we taking on we need to determine who's going to issue these certifications what machines are going to do it we want to know the procedures can someone just connect and request one and get it because they're an Active Directory user? Okay, that's fine. What if it's somebody from outside? Do we want to see copies of driver's license? Do we want a pint of blood? Do we want them to come to our place and let us, you know, uh, drive bamboo under their fingernails? Yeah, exactly what are we going to do with these people to determine who they are? And there's a lot of different things, and of course I'm being a little bit uh, cynical here, but for a lot of these things you're going to have to provide some documentation two or three maybe four forms of ID you may have to appear you know provide photographs and all kinds of things then we gotta figure out okay under what conditions will we revoke your certificate you know it can't be over a football game it can't be uh, you know unless maybe that's your rules I don't know but you're going to have to define procedures for revoking these certificates because if I revoke your certificate, that really is the worst form of name calling out there on the internet because basically I'm saying, look, this guy's not trustworthy. Okay, he came to us, he got a certificate, we caught him doing some stuff, and you know, so we took his certificate away. You're telling the world it's not safe. We have to define procedures for protecting our certificates. As we issue and build these things, uh, how are we going to protect this stuff? Now, I've gone out on the internet and I got, I think it was off Microsoft's website, information, it was, was off Microsoft, it's one of their white papers, creating certificate policies and certificate practice statements. There is a Word document that will be in the Work Files folder. Go get this thing printed out and read through it. Just be aware of it. These type questions have historically been showing up on the exam, so just read over them. Make sure you understand policies and practice statements and kind of generally the information that's in them and just read the stuff in that white paper and you should be able to uh, find your way through these questions on the exam.